cardiovascular pharmacology, anticoagulants, heparin, the adverse effects of heparin. There is a high risk of bleeding that can lead to hemorrhaging. Notify prescriber to prescribing provider immediately of new signs of bleeding or bruising or sudden changes in vital signs that indicate internal bleeding such as decreasing blood pressure with an associated increase in heart rate. Some patients may develop heparin-induced thrombocytopenia, HIT, or heparin-induced thrombocytopenia and thrombosis. Therefore, heparin should be immediately discontinued. Patient education. Notify healthcare staff immediately of new signs of bleeding or bruising. Remind physicians and dentists that they are receiving heparin before any surgery or invasive procedure is scheduled. Patients should avoid medications containing aspirin or NSAIDs. Bleeding precautions should be partaken, including the avoidance of intramuscular injections, the use of a soft toothbrush, and, elect and electric razor. Low molecular weight heparin, or LMWH, also known as enoxaparin or Lovenox, is a low molecular weight heparin that is supplied in a pre-filled syringe. Low molecular weight heparin formulations do not require lab monitoring. Enoxaparin is a low molecular weight heparin which has antithrombotic properties with a higher ratio of anti-factor 10A to anti-factor 2A activity compared to heparin. Indications. It is indicated for the prevention and treatment of deep vein thrombosis or DVT, which may lead to pulmonary embolism or PE. It is also used in combination with aspirin for the treatment of acute myocardial infarction. Consideration. Enoxaparin is administered subcutaneously and preferably in the abdomen for best absorption. Safety and effectiveness have not been established in pediatric patients. The risk of bleeding increases with age, especially if used at the same time with antiplatelet medications. Used with caution in patients with renal impairment, risk of bleeding is increased. A dosage adjustment is recommended for patients with severe renal impairment. Overdoses Dosage can be neutralized with a slow IV infusion of protamine sulfate. Adverse effects. Warning. Epidural or spinal hematomas may occur in patients who are anticoagulated with low molecular weight heparins and are receiving neural axial anesthesia or undergoing spinal puncture. These hematomas may result in long-term or permanent paralysis. There is a risk of bleeding and hemorrhaging, especially following percutaneous coronary revascularization procedures or with concurrent medication conditions such as recent GI ulcer. It may cause heparin-induced thrombocytopenia or heparin-induced thrombocytopenia and thrombosis. Patient education. Notify healthcare staff immediately of new signs of bleeding or bruising. Remind physicians and dentists that they are receiving heparin before any surgery or invasive procedure is scheduled. Patients should avoid medications containing aspirins or NSAIDs. Warfarin. Warfarin or Coumadin is an oral anticoagulant forming in various strengths in different colors to help prevent errors when patients self-administer different dosages at home. Close monitoring of prothrombin time, PT, or the internal, international normalized ratio, INR, is required. Warfarin is an oral pill with various strengths in different colors. The mechanism of action. Warfarin acts by inhibiting the synthesis of vitamin K-dependent clotting factors, which include factors 2, 7, 9, and 10, and the anticoagulant proteins C and S. Indications for use. Warfarin is indicated for the following 
prophylaxis and treatment of venous thrombosis and its extension, pulmonary embolus, prophylaxis and treatment of thromboembolic complications associated with atrial fibrillation and or cardiac valve replacement, reduction in the risk of death, recurrent myocardial infarction and thromboembolic events such as stroke or systemic embolization after myocardial infarction. Considerations. Warfarin is contraindicated in pregnant women except for those with mechanical heart valves. It can cause fetal harm. Vitamin K is the reversal agent. Fresh frozen plasma may be considered if the requirement to reverse the effects of warfarin sodium is urgent. Close monitoring of prothrombin time, PT, or international normalized ratio, INR, is required. Therapeutic INR ranges from 2 to 3.5, depending on the indication. In hospitalized patients receiving heparin therapy, there is often a period of overlap where the patient is prescribed both IV heparin and warfarin until the INR reaches therapeutic range. At that point, the hep IV heparin is discontinued. Warfarin has significant interactions with many medications. Read drug label information before administering. Warfarin sodium is contraindicated in patients with many conditions, including, but not limited to, hemorrhagic tendencies or blood dyscrasias. Recent or contemplated surgery of the central nervous system or eye or traumatic surgery resulting in large open surfaces. Bleeding tendencies associated with active ulceration or overt bleeding in the gastrointestinal, genitourinary, or respiratory tracts. Central nervous system hemorrhage, cerebral aneurysms and dissecting aorta, pericarditis and pericardial effusions, bacteri bacterial endocarditis. Adverse side effects. Warning. Warfarin can cause major or fatal bleeding. Perform regular monitoring of INR in all treated patients. Drugs, dietary changes, and other factors affect INR levels achieved with warfarin therapy. Instruct patients about prevention measures to minimize risk of bleeding and to report signs and symptoms of bleeding. Warfarin can cause acute kidney injury and bleeding risk are increased in patients with liver disease. Patient education. Advise patients to avoid alcohol, cranberries, and grapefruit as they increase the effect of warfarin and the risk of bleeding. Strictly adhere to the prescribed doses schedule. Follow INR monitoring guidelines as provided by the prescriber. Avoid any activity or sport that may result in traumatic injury. Tell their provider if they experience frequent falls because warfarin can increase their risk for bleeding in the brain. Eat a normal, balanced diet to maintain a consistent intake of vitamin K, such as green, leafy vegetables. Tell all healthcare professionals and dentists that they are taking warfarin, especially before surgery or dental procedures. Use electric razors instead of straight razors. Carry identification stating that they are taking warfarin. Notify their provider immediately if any unusual bleeding or symptoms occur, such as pain, swelling, or discomfort. Prolong bleeding from cuts, increased menstrual flow or vaginal bleeding, nose bleeds, bleeding of the gums from brushing, unusual bleeding or bruising, red or dark brown urine, red or tar black stools, headache, dizziness, or weakness.